Well, y'all, yeah, it's about 5.30 uh, late January, and man, I was about to call it a day at an area I've been to for about four years. And it's changed a lot because, um, because of the floods, a lot of deer have seemed to have moved in. And there before this was so filled with briars, you couldn't get in here. Now it's very open because they had nowhere to go. So here they are. And then on the way out, I see this matching set. Don't know how old, it's got some damage. And then I found this about 30 minutes ago. And that right there is a five-year-old mature buck. And there's no green at all. So I'm thinking he dropped in a really early drop for here in late December and he was under the wrong tree because I don't see any green, none. And if it had been out here, even a late drop from say, you know, uh, May or June even, uh, there would be green. This is a very, very wet area, very marshland practically. There's a lot of water around me right now. So anyway, there's a beautiful, heavy mass, short tines, but goodness gracious, and double time. And then I haven't, I just got here, just looked down here, and here is a set. Don't know how long. There's one, and then there's the other. So let's pull them. They've been out here a year. I think so. I don't know, guys. God, I don't know. No funky looking. Funky. All right. And. Boy, that is a funky donkey. Wow. I don't even know if I call that a match set. I don't know. I, I think it is. It really is. But man, that is some strange genetics. That is really freaky. Wow. Well, alrighty then. Um, now I got someone's dog. I'm in an area that is basically designated wetland and then there you go there's my take for about two hours of shed hunting that's real good i was really sucking wind on uh <laughs> january and now i'm looking a lot better so anyway there's an awesome day shed hunt i am so pleased and uh surprised about what this this parcel i believe it belongs to our service association now and uh okay, it is what it is but it's it's basically to suck and after harvey no one's gonna get the build on a wetland unless <laughs> they're gonna pay big bucks to have to buy uh mitigation land and even that will be a tough sell people are too happy there might be some development but it ain't gonna be cheap for the developer who wants to do it so and here i don't think ever People came would just, they remember 10 feet of water going through their house. So uh, they're not here. <laughs> so anyway, there's a beautiful set. And I'm going to get going. Y'all have a fine evening, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye now. Well, how y'all doing today? It's almost sundown here in southeast Texas, and I've got me a yellow belly water snake. And I can't tell if he is dead I, I can't tell. He could be just so stupid and cold that he can't move. I don't know. So I am going to check it out and see. I'm going to touch him with a with stick. He's non-venomous, by the way. People kill these snakes all the time out, out of just sheer unadulterated ignorance. Let's see if I can get some movement out of him. There you go. He's dead. No, he's not. He is not dead. He is just extremely sluggish. He moved, that's awesome. So, I'm not gonna poke him anymore, I got him to move. You know, we're in winter and he came out to sun himself today. And that's what he basically is doing. If those of you who aren't familiar with snakes, uh, they're cold blooded and they have to regulate their body temperature. And what he did all day was, it's was warmed up, had a cold spell, maybe three days ago and he might have hunted might have got something to eat but it's getting cool right now and he's getting sluggish 
So that's why you don't see him zipping around. And uh, you know, he's about two and a half feet long, roughly. That's not really a big one. I say he, it could be a she. I'm not gonna, I'm not testing. But anyway, you can get pretty close. And really, she just doesn't have a lot of energy. So I'm gonna give you a close look. There you go. Check that out. Yellow-bellied water snake, not venomous. You can barely see under the chin where there's yellow. And that snake can get up to eight feet long, the females. And if you've ever seen them, they're just huge. Uh, that's a good snake. That snake eats pests and varmints. Eats rats, eats probably other snakes too, I think. Uh, just, about, just about anything small you're going to eat. She, don't know. Anyway, there you go. There's a yellow belly water snake. And I'm going to use my 30 minutes of daylight to go find stuff. Didn't expect to see a snake out. Yeah, it's 1st of February, 2nd. So uh, there you go, yellow belly water snake. Awesome stuff. And as you can see, I touched him, but he's, he or she, they're gonna be okay. Um, let him get the heat. The, he, he's about to crawl into a log or a hole, but that's cooling off pretty quick. So anyway, y'all have a fine evening. I'll be talking to y'all later. Bye now.